Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Today we're going through the next update for my 2023 project pan. So if this is your first video of mine, I have got all of the videos for this project from the intro linked chronologically in a playlist. I will link that up in the eye so that you can go check that out and watch this from the beginning. If you are up to date, let's get on into this update, which is a really, really exciting one. Starting with my primer. That has come down like another fairly good amount. I actually didn't think I would have got as much of a reduction on it this time because with the warmer weather being in etc I've been reaching more for my Clarins green primer that's got the kind of colour correcting aspect to it. So I've been reaching for that over this one to be honest but I actually even for what I did use of this it's still come down quite a decent amount. The only thing that I have realised about this primer I presumed you could unscrew this because this is getting it's kind of doing that thing, you know, when you pump it and it starts sort of spluttering out rather than just coming out. Um, so it's obviously getting to the very bottom of the bottle. But this is not like, you can't screw this off. Um, you know, and if I pull it, it doesn't pull off either. I can pull like this bit off. Um, you know, like the, the actual pump, but not the product underneath. So if anyone's got any tips, do let me know because I feel like there's definitely probably another two months worth of product in there that I'm already kind of now struggling to get out. So I really do want to actually get the satisfaction of using it all. So if anyone's got any tips for how to get into this bottle, let me know. In terms of my foundation, this has come down by one gram since the last update. I have been trying to use up my foundation samples that I've had to try and kind of bring my foundation inventory down a little bit. I've just done my six month halfway through the year figures. So yeah, I've got more foundations than I'm really comfortable with, but a lot of that is being pushed up by a lot of samples that I've gathered this year. So I have been trying to use them up. So I've not been reaching for this quite as much whilst I've been trying to knock them out but I'm not concerned like I'm still sure this will be done by the end of the project I feel like you know it's it's nearing the end now I feel like it'll probably be out in the next like couple of months so I'm not worried even though it's only come down a gram for this update But in terms of my first really exciting update to share with you, I hit pan in my highlight. I don't even know if you can see it from back there because it is such a small little speck of pan, but we have hit pan. I'm so glad because I, I know I said it every update, but I was like, N you know, I'm using it really consistently. So theoretically I should get it by the end of the year, but I really thought, I, I just felt like I had such a dip going on for so long and I was like, how, like this is so much deeper than I thought it was going to be. Um, but we finally, finally got it. My goal with this was just to hit pan. So now that I've hit pan, I theoretically could roll it out, but I'm going to keep it in for now. I start my 12 pans of Christmas. I film the intro for that on September 25th and then do my updates October and November 25th with the finale obviously being Christmas day so I think my plan is that I will keep using this through August and September just to increase that pan see where we can get it to but I think I would like to put a different highlight in my 12 pans of Christmas project pan so I'm going to keep this in for a little while having hit the goal just to see how much further we can get into that goal and then I'll probably roll it out at the end of September so really really pleased that I have got the pan and excited to see you know what I can do with it between now and the end of September. On to my blush, there's not much to report here so I used this 14 times in the last month. I am, I was actually away last weekend and I'd, I thought it was this weekend I was going away. I actually should have filmed this update last weekend so I've had slightly longer with these products. I've had like 
a week longer than I usually would have. It's still within the month of July this update, it's the last Sunday of July that I'm filming this so I'm not too worried, I don't think it's going to, like I'll just keep my other updates to the end of the month anyway so it's fine but it did mean that I got a little bit longer to use these products with between the last update and this one which did mean I got to use this blush 14 times which is the most that I've used it between any updates but despite that it doesn't really look particularly different there is like a good dip and I feel like you can never really see this when I show you in the cutaways like like that but there is a really really good dip here but I am actually I'm trying not to lean into the dip which is probably slightly counterintuitive for the fact that we'd like to see pan obviously by the end of the project fingers crossed. I probably could hit pan quicker if I would lean into that dip but I'm hoping to put off repressing it until as late as possible so I'd rather try and use it quite evenly if I can. That is what it looks like, still no sign of pan but we got 14 uses. That takes me in total now to 48 uses so my goal is to use it 100 times within the project so I've got 52 times more to go. I've got it on today and it's obviously this is not very summery makeup for the fact we're still in July but I absolutely love sort of autumn winter makeup and I feel like this blush really goes well with this kind of lip so I'm not worried. I do think I'll get 52 uses of it between you know now and the end of the year and get that 100 within the project. It's just whether that 100 will give us a pan or not not quite sure. The highlight was newer in my collection than this blush was, although I hadn't been concentrating in this blush before this year. I'd had this actual palette for a long time and I'd used the blush already, so I feel like I've definitely used that highlight every time I've used this blush, more or less. And I have used the highlight with other blushes, but the majority of the time, if I've had blush on my face this year, it has been this one. So I feel like what the use that I've had more or less has been equal between the highlight and the blush and obviously you know as well you use more blush because you're only using a little bit of highlight so yeah I feel like it's it says a lot that I think we've hit pan in the highlight but not done anything kind of visual in the blush in terms of just giving evidence to back up what I've been saying for the whole project which is as I know from finishing the other four powders in this palette it seems to take ages to get the pan in these but once you get the pan it goes quite quickly so that's what I'm holding out for is that within 100 uses I will get a pan and then next year we'll hopefully finish it so fingers crossed that's what we're hoping for. And then the last makeup item and another really exciting update for this update is my setting spray. It's done. So I did decant it from this into this because this started leaking as some of you might remember. It was here, we were marking it in this little bottle, but it's done. It's finished, it's out of the project. I'm really really happy with that. I've now got two setting sprays left. One of them is not like a little tiny mini, I think it's like a 30ml or something, so I'm hoping in terms of my general inventory that I will finish that before the end of the year so that I've only got one at the end of the year, but I'm not going to roll it in in place of this. I said by the last update if I'd finished anything I would roll something in in its place, but after that I wasn't going to bother so that I wasn't rolling too much into this project and then having that running alongside my 12 pans of Christmas at the end of the year so so I'm not replacing this with anything else I'm just having hit the goal finishing it rolling it out of the project and being very very pleased to do so Speaking of rolling things in and out, at the last update I had finished my Origins clay mask and I rolled in my Sizzly mask in its place because that was the last update that I was rolling things in in place of. So the last update was the first one that we saw this in and it was at 35 grams at that point and by this update I have got this down to 29 grams. So really really pleased with that, I definitely think I'll be able to finish this within the project 
possibly by next month or maybe the month after at a push but yeah I think if I really committed to it I could probably finish this this month so we'll see. In fact I'm I'm looking at it now maybe that was a bit of, maybe I'm a bit high on like hitting pan on that that highlight actually thinking I can do maybe more than I can. No I probably can't. I'm, I'm, I've got the window in front of me so I can kind of see shining through it how much is in here. Um, so no I don't think I'll be finishing it by next month. I think that was just me being high on on hitting pan in my highlight and finishing my setting spray there. I think we'll probably be seeing this for at least another two months but I'm really pleased to have used six grams between introducing it and this update. Another item that I'm really really pleased in the progress of is my perfume. So at the last update we had finally, it was coming back down, so this was the marking from the last update and this is how much I have used by this update. So I am so so pleased. So this is now, this bit here is what's left of this perfume. So I am not, if I finish that much within one more month, I think like another two months and this should be done. So really really pleased with that because I think I'll probably put some kind of perfume product into my 12 pans of Christmas. I just filmed my six month check in for my perfume update so uh, if you've seen that video you'll have heard me kind of what my thought process is with that anyway but yeah I really I would like this done before my 12 pans of Christmas kicks off so hopefully through August and September we'll hit the end of this um, or if not I'm sure it'll be early in October so it shouldn't interfere too much with whatever I decide to do with that project pan but really really pleased to be finally onto this bit of washi tape. It took ages once it had gone like down into there to start to be down enough that when I turned it upside down it could be on this tape. That took far longer than I had expected that bit to take. This obviously went much deeper into this bit than I had realised so uh, I was starting to lose heart a little bit with it but got onto it in the last update and I used a really good chunk for this update so really really pleased with that. Something that I thought I would not have a good update for but which I actually made quite decent progress on between the last update and this one is my fresh rose hydration serum so this can be a little bit rich for my skin and obviously we've been in the warmer weather so I did think this would kind of stagnate during these months but actually between the last update and this update this has come down quite a fair bit and I am really really pleased with that so another reduction on this. Now since my last update and this update I have obviously chopped a lot of my hair off so that I think has impacted these last two products and I don't know how much that impact is going to be felt now through to the end of the project but first of all I've got my heat protectant lotion so I did bring that down the two marks are so close together but I did bring it down a tiny little bit since last time. So I now just need like so much less product in my hair. I'll still finish this within the project. I'm not concerned. I feel like as well when I'm squeezing this out, it's doing that thing where it's kind of spluttering out as well. So I think this will be cut open. If not by the next update, then certainly by the update after. So I still think this will get finished within the project without any real issue. However, my oil, it was so difficult to make this next marking. It was almost pointless making it because the last marking and this marking were so close together. If I don't finish this within the project, it'll get finished early next year. So I'm not too worried. I have got three hair oils in total. So this one, then another full size one, and then a little mini. So I'm hoping even if I can't finish this within this project for this year, 
it'll be out fairly early next year then I can finish my mini and after that I'll be down to only one hair oil so that is the overall goal and you know this has been a good amount of progress to have made thus far in the project and we've got another five months still to go so yeah we'll see we'll see what I end up managing to use up by that time obviously I'm maybe using less product because I usually would have probably started my hair oil about here down to the ends so uh, yeah I'm, I'm wary of taking oil too high up near my roots which obviously is much more easily done now that my hair is a lot shorter and I think I want to keep it this length for a little while just I've not really had time to play with it yet because I got it cut the start of July basically and then I was straight away I was way to Dublin then I was back for a weekend but I was meeting friends that weekend so I didn't really want to like risk playing about with it in case it came out really weird then I was away again last weekend and then I was out yesterday as well so I've I really want time to just actually be able to like wet set it in different ways and stuff and you know to be able to try things out and for it to not be a disaster if it goes wrong because I'm not doing anything with it um, or I'm not going out so I don't need to be seen with it if it goes wrong so I want to kind of keep it a bit shorter, have a play about with it and get used to it. We'll see if I end up going back longer. I, I thought I would originally, when I first cut it last year and I got the fringe, I thought I would probably grow it back long pretty much almost straight away. Um, but I feel like I still needed to scratch the itch of this kind of short hair without the fringe. And I decided, you know what, rather than letting it grow any further from what it had done and then chopping it later and having to start that again if I decided to go back to long let's just get it chopped so I'm really happy with it I'm really enjoying it so yeah but it's um sorry that was a bit of a tangent about my hair but basically it's uh, definitely it's it's shorter so there's less of it so it needs less product anyway Um, so we'll see what impact that has on this for the rest of the year That is everything so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like project panning I have got all of last year's project pans listed in a chronological playlist so I will link that up in the end screen if you want to go and indulge in a bit more project pan content. Um, otherwise thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!